welcome to this week's edition of Zona Zoo Sports Report. I'm Maddie Rundin alongside Ben Gabrielson and Ben, it is safe to say that the men's basketball Cinderella season has officially come to an end. That's right, the Arizona wrapped up their 2008-2009 basketball season this past Friday as they played the Louisville Cardinal in the Sweet 16 and to say the least, the pumpkin on the way to the ball definitely came to a screeching halt. That's right, and now interim head coach Russ Pennell's future is in the balance. So we caught up with him at the press conference to see what he thinks his next steps are going to be. It's a, it's really a day-to-day -day thing, and uh, you know I've had some inquiries, third-party inquiries. Are you interested in this? You interested in that? And some of it I'm not, and some of it has to do with going back on your side of it. And uh, so uh, you just kind of sort through it all and I, I've always been one to believe that uh, the, uh, the right things happen at the right time and um, so what I'm going to do is try to be patient and anything that comes my way I look at I never discard it. Uh, I've, I've learned over time that uh, if someone offers you an opportunity you better look at it and then if you don't want to do it so be it. But uh, I'm just really right now in the preliminary stages of a, of a number of different things. We also caught up with head coach Russ Pennell about his uncertain future and the reflection of the 2008-2009 men's basketball season. Coach, if a student came up to you and said, you're a legend now, what would your <laughs> response be? Well, I wouldn't say I was a legend, but uh, you know, I, I certainly would appreciate the sentiment because uh, I think that means that they had a good time watching our team play. And how do you feel about the Zona Zoo section as a whole this season? They've been unbelievable, and I really believe they were a big part of why we were successful. I just thought there were some times on home games, maybe we were a little flat, maybe a little down, and boy, they picked us up every time. And uh, just the enthusiasm they brought, I thought was contagious with our team. How do you feel about so uh, being so unconditionally loved by everyone, you know, on the street in Tucson? Is that a testament to the program, or, or is that just because you're a nice guy? No, I think it's uh, because we had some success. You know, I think that uh, we, you know, and I've tried to handle myself in the right way, but um, when you win and, and when uh, you feel like a team's given an honest day's work, and I thought our guys did play hard all year, I think it's easy to get behind that, and I felt like that's what uh, the community found in this team. Do you feel like you're a wildcat now and that you bleed red and blue? I certainly, a part of me will always be. And uh, this will be a special year in my life no matter what happens from this point forward. And my time at the University of Arizona has been absolutely outstanding. Kind of like a small mini chapter in your life, a, a really a, quite a fantastic year. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to say to the students at all? Well, I think the big thing is just that I appreciate uh, everyone's support. And uh, everyone has been so positive and uh, has made my time here, you know, something that I'll never, ever forget. And, um, you know, when I think of uh, the University of Arizona, I think of the students and just the way McHale rocks because of them. And, and uh, whoever comes in and coaches next is going to get the uh, benefit of the Zona Zoo. In other Arizona sporting news, Arizona baseball had a valiant effort this past weekend against UCLA, but ended up losing the series. However, they will get a chance to redeem themselves this weekend against the other LA school when USC comes into town. And on the women's side of things, the U of A softball team had a very successful trip up north to the Oregon schools as they swept both of them. For Ben Gabrielson and Maddie Rundin, for this week's edition of the Zona Zoo Sports Report, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next week.